Hello and welcome to another AQA GCSC revision video. In this video we're looking at the 8300 series of papers. This is the May 2017 run of the past papers. Um, this is the first paper in the higher tier and we're picking up in question 25 which reads in an office there are twice as many females as males. One quarter of the females wear glasses three-eighths of the males wear glasses, 84 people in the office wear glasses. Work out the number of people in the office. Okay, that's a lot of information to take in. Okay, so let's start off with the first sentence. In an office there are twice as many females as males. So what that means is that there are two women for every one man. So out of every three people there are two women and one man, which means two-thirds of the total number of people in the office, which we can call, say, T for total, are female. And one-third of the total are male. Now we know that one quarter of the females wear glasses. So one quarter of the females, which is two thirds of the total, so one quarter times two thirds of the total wear glasses. So that gives us the number of females that wear glasses plus three-eighths of the males wear glasses and the males are one-third of the total. So three-eighths times one-third times the total, which are males. So that's the number of females plus the number of males that wear glasses is equal to the total number of people who wear glasses, which is 84 people. Okay, so we've got our equation, now we just need to simplify it. Well, one quarter times two thirds is two twelfths, because you just multiply the numerators and the denominators, so that's two over twelve times the total, so that's two t over twelve, plus, so, 3 times 1 is 3, 8 times 3 is 24, so that's 3 times t over 24 is equal to 84. Well, to combine the fractions we need to make the denominators the same, so it's easy to just double top and bottom. So, this is actually, would it be easier to simplify both? No, because then I'd have 1 over 6 and 1 over 8. So no, it's easier to do it this way. So 2 over 12 will become 4 over 24. So this is 4t over 24 plus 3t over 24, which is equal to 84. So we can now combine the numerators. So 4t plus 3t is 7t. So 7t, where t is the total number of people in the office, divided by 24 is equal to 84. Eee, that's nasty. OK, so t is equal to 84 times 24 all over 7. Gosh, that's difficult. OK, so let's do this. 84 times 24. So 4 times 4 is 16, so we carry the 1. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 1 is 33. Put down a 0. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. So that's 
3 plus 8 is 11. 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 6 is 10. So it's 2016. So now we need to do 2016 divided by 7. Okay, well 7s into 21 goes 3 times, but this is 20, so 2 is the highest number we can get. I'll leave a remainder of 6, but actually let's just do that. So that's a remainder of 6, so that's 61. Uh, 7s into 63 is 9, so 8 is the highest number we can get. 8 times 7 is 56. Uh, take the right from 61, that leaves a remainder of 5. So that leaves a 5. 7s into 56 goes 8 times with no remainder. So that's 288 is our answer. Phew. OK, I hope you found that helpful. If you're taking your GCSEs this year, I'd like to wish you every success with your revision and every success with your exams. And I'll look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye.